What's up everyone, Scott Lenoff here in the Boho Trixie. And it's a beautiful, beautiful Memorial Day weekend and we thought we could take a little drive for our antiquing, antique with us or vintage with us videos. We're not like, you know, all the other cool people who can do a video every week, but we thought we'd bring you what we do do. And we are in Highland, Indiana for a first time visit to America's Antique Mall. So it's supposed to be a pretty big mall. Looks pretty big from the outside. It's in like an old um, strip mall. So we'll see what we can get. They have some nice graphics on the window. And uh, yeah, so this is maybe one. What are you looking for? Anything special? Nope. I got nothing. Yeah, we're just having a nice little Saturday, so we'll see. We'll see what we find. Nothing, Looking for nothing in particular, but uh, we'll give you the scoop on America's Antique Mall, so let's go in. Yeah, so from the outside, man, this place looks like it's got some tonnage, and that is true. It's in a former, you know, retail store, and it's got quite a bit of square feet. It has a cafe shop located inside and several, several aisles of vendors. Plenty to look at. Uh, of course, you got to hunt when the store is this big, which is good and bad, but lots of little treasures here and there all laid out throughout the store and uh, several vendors who actually had some antiques, some, you know, things that are kind of more modern or uh, not so vintage, plenty of cases, case booths and more to come. There's definitely room to grow at America's Antique Mall in Highland, Indiana. Lots of jewelry, collectibles, figurines like Yadros. I saw a couple cases with Yadros. There's one right there. And uh, just a lot of fun stuff to look at. Some Bakelite. Heather didn't pick any of the Bakelite, but she did get some costume jewelry that she liked. She got a bundle of for about $7. And just really kind of having fun looking at some of the old stuff. I thought this was funny. This isn't that old. It's a Sony Mavica camera, but I had one just like that. And, of course, games, pop culture toys from the 90s, stuff that I that I remember and don't think it's that old, but it is. It's getting pretty old. Definitely vintage. And, of course, we're not that far from Chicago, so some Chicago items, which is good for me because that's where we're from, but also bad, too, because we're not that far from the city, and I think the prices kind of reflected that. It's a little bit higher, almost sort of online or eBay prices, but you know, they got to make a living, so I get it. And there's a, that was a nice mid-century piece. Lots of uh, uranium glass and a couple different vendors. And just a lot of fun stuff to look at. I would say there's probably about 10 vendors who actually had antiques. The rest of them were maybe not so much antiques, but stuff that you would just kind of find at a thrift store. And I personally don't think have a lot of value. But you might find a diamond in the rough. And depending on what you collect, you might find what you like. You know, we don't, other than I love to collect, but we only have so much space. You know, we live in the city and don't have a huge place to store stuff. So we only look at like looking for one or two things to add to our collection, not necessarily buy and sell a lot. Even if we resell it, we're very careful because we just don't have the space to store it until it sells. So this I loved. And if I had the space, I would have totally bought this valet uh, for, you know, it looks like it's antique. I'm not sure. I would, I should have looked at it closer, but the price was. A little high, but I would have paid for it if we had this room. Cool little paperweight, 1983, good year. <laughs> uh, pennies encased in uh, plastic there, and some antique advertising on the back in the back of the store. Thought I would share for those who like to collect tins and all this goodie, all the goodies right here. So yeah, lots of potential at America's Antique Mall. I definitely want to come back because they have room to grow. There are plenty of vendors who are just getting started. That's also a bad thing. You can see here there's plenty of empty cases that are going to need vendors, which is good and bad. The good is that they're just going to bring new stuff in. The bad is some of the stuff isn't that old yet because it hasn't been sitting around an antique store for that long. So we wrapped up, checked out, and headed to Crown Point, and that's our next stop in this video. All right, everyone, we, we left Highland, Indiana, and headed over to Crown Point to check out the Crown Point Antique Mall. Never been here before either, but we're going to check it out. Looks like they're having a little Memorial Day weekend tent sale, so hopefully there's some goodies to find, maybe some rusty gold. So here we go. This must be everyone's antique store in Indiana because it was very busy. It was hopping for Memorial Day. Invest in? How much is it? 40 bucks? Yeah. We did find some Royal Hager, and we actually did end up getting that gazelle. Yeah, it's going to make a nice little piece for our place. Again, two buildings full of antiques. Again, some of the stuff is a little bit older just because this is a little bit older antique mall, I believe. So good to see a bunch of stuff. Very good prices. They had Everybody had like a 10 or 20% off Memorial Day sale. And I did actually find something here, which I'm going to share with in a little bit. Nice little outside sale. So be sure to check out their website for when they have outdoor sales. So here we are. I'm in the studio and I thought I would share what I picked up. I decided to go for quality instead of quantity. So I found this... this uh, 
Bank Thrift Co. or Bank Thrift Co. Uh, interurban bank, uh, brass or copper bank for the Ohio Electric Railway Company. I'm a kind of a train guy, and I like interurbans. If you don't know me, and uh, this is I thought was cool. It looks like it has a little bit of value to it. I did some research, and I don't think I overpaid for it, but I think I paid probably pretty close to what it's worth. Maybe a little less. And there might be a little bit of room, but I don't really want to sell it. I'm going to add it to my collection. And I did find did a little bit of research on what Bank Thrift Co. was. It actually was a bank, popular bank company in you know the the 20s and 30s and 40s. It ended up uh, finally dissolving in about the 90s, and it was based here in Chicago. So I learned something about a local company, and they it even says uh, Chicago, Illinois, USA in the bottom. And I did find that there was actually two editions of this bank. There was a second edition too, and I don't believe this is a second edition. I believe this is the first edition because it doesn't say second edition. The ones I saw on eBay said second edition on the bottom. So I believe this is a first edition Ohio Electric Railway Company. And one of the reasons why I like it is one, it's interurban, but two, this is actually the interurban service that went to my wife's ta- hometown in Ohio. So it has another personal connection to me, something I'm going to cherish for a little bit, and hopefully maybe someday it'll be worth something even more. But I did get 10% off from the vendor at the Crown Point Antique Mall. Thank you to that vendor. I didn't get to, to thank them personally, but I hope they're watching this. And thank you. It's going to be, I'm cherishing it, and it's going to be in my collection. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. If you want to kind of join our crazy ventures, be sure to subscribe and like our channel. We we don't get to post content every single week. We're not full-time resellers or full-time thrifters or collectors, if you will. But we love to get out and explore the Midwest and the Windy City here in Chicago. So be sure to like and subscribe if you like our content. And we, we'll be with you more. It's summer, so there's a lot more fun things to do and shop. So be sure to like, and we hope to entertain you along the way. Thanks.